back at the Musical Instrument Museum in Phoenix, Arizona. I love this place, Blaster. And look where you landed us, right in Peru. This is where they have a long-standing tradition of doing something called the scissor dance. Now, you'll see right here, these look like scissors, but they aren't actually scissors. And remember, we never want to play or dance with scissors. And when participating in the scissor dance, this is the costume they would wear. Check out all the beautiful colors from their head all the way down to their toes. And guess what? Over time, this long-standing tradition has become a competition, and they'll have dance-offs for guess how long? No, longer than that, Blaster. 10 hours. That's a long time to dance. But hey, Blaster, there's another cool costume that I want to show them, but it's all the way in Singapore. Can you help us out? What? Oh, that's right. We don't have to blast there, we can just walk there. Where else can you walk from Peru to Singapore? No other place than the Mim. Come on, let's go. Whoa, look in here. We'll come back here in a little bit to check this out, but I think Singapore is right around the corner. Oh yeah, I see it, here it is. You're gonna love this, come here. This is a beautiful lion costume that's popular in Singapore. Let's go check it out. Hey Blaster, where is Singapore on a map? Oh, there it is. Well, in this part of the world, people will dance in this lion costume during the new year to bring lots of good luck and drive away evil spirits. This costume may look heavy, but it's fairly light. I can easily hold it over my head. And by using my hands, I can open the lion's mouth. Roar! And if you look closely, you can see the lion's eyes opening and closing. Let me show you how I move the lion's eyes. I pull this lever, and it moves the eyes up and down. How am I doing, Blaster? Nice. This dance has been around for many, many years. But there's another, much newer dance style that I think you'd also like. Let's go, Blaster! One of the newest forms of dance is hip hop. In fact, hip hop is celebrating its 50th birthday this year. And to help us celebrate, we have Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Hi. Take it away. Awesome work, Jamie! And Blaster, nice moves too. We're having so much fun learning about the history of music and dance, and we want to know where you think we should go next. Well, I'll give you a clue. Ooh. A lot of people think this instrument is only found in Scotland, but it's actually found all over the world. Hmm. I think I know exactly what you're talking about. Blaster, take us away. Here we go! Oh, I was right, Blaster. It's bagpipes. Awesome. And bagpipes actually are found all over the world. Wow, which one of these is your favorite? Blaster, I kind of like this one from Spain. Yeah, because it has the Baba Blast colors. You're right. But check this out. This uniform is all the way from Scotland, and it's called the Highlander. You can see the bagpipe right here. And check out that. Cool hat, awesome. But there's more to see, come on this way. We got some accordions. Some string instruments. 
Oh, and this is what I wanted to show you. Check out this piece of wardrobe. This costume is called Gilles. Say that with me. Gilles. Very nice. And when this costume is worn, sometimes the person wearing the costume gets to throw oranges. And do you know why? Because they believe it wards off evil. And these twigs, same thing. Wow, it's cool to learn about other people's cultures. Let's go this way. Hmm. Oh, I see something way in the back. Look at this. I've heard about these. This one right here is a kukeri costume, and this is for a kid. Wow, how would you like to wear this? And the one back here, you're right. This one is for the adults. Blaster, which one would you wear? <laughs> nice. Hey, let's go see these in action. All of the costumes, wardrobe, and uniforms we've seen accompanies music. But you're right, Blaster. We haven't had any music today. Should we go make some music together? Yeah? All right. Here we go. Whoa, Blaster. We're having so much fun learning about musical instruments today. But you know, you can't talk about musical instruments without a little song. And I know someone who can help us, Blaster. Hey, it's Katie, and she is the Curator of Education at the Musical Instrument Museum. Hi, Katie. Hi, thanks for having me. I'm so excited to learn a song. Absolutely. People make music all around the world for all sorts of different reasons. Today, we're going to learn a children's song from Tanzania. Ooh. To make it easy for us, we're going to start in English, but then we're going to learn a little Swahili together. Oh, how fun. Awesome. Blaster, you stand here. All right, here we go. Stand up, sit down, stand up, sit down down jumping 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 stand up sit down stand up sit down stand up sit down jumping 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 stand up sit down and walking and walking and walking and walking jumping 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 stand up sit down and running and running and running and running jumping 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 stand up sit down. Nice! Yeah! Well done. So let's do it again, but this time in Swahili. Nice. Same motions, different words. Okay. See mama ka, see mama ka, ruka, 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 see mama ka, see mama ka, see mama ka, ruka, 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 see mama ka, tem. Tembeya, 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 ruka, 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 si mama ka, kim bia, kim bia, kim bia, kim bia, ruka, 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 si mama ka. Awesome job, you did great. And how fun that we got to learn a dance with our song. Thank you, Miss Katie. You're so welcome. All right, we're not done yet. Blaster, take us away. Here we go. Whoa, wow, look at this large totem pole. Traditionally, totem poles are used to tell stories of families or groups of people. Let's check out what's on this totem pole. At the very top, we have an eagle, followed by a bear. And then we have one of my favorite animals, the killer whale. And then at the very bottom, we have a human holding a frog. I wonder what story this totem pole is telling. Hmm, let's keep looking. Wow, we're in the USA and Canada gallery. Hey, I recognize this instrument. This is a, you're right, a piano. Wow, it's cool to see the inside of these pianos. I've never seen that. Aren't they beautiful? Hey, 
Did you know that there are lots of different types of instruments and lots of different people to play those instruments? And when all those people come together to make music as one entity, do you know what it's called? New word alert, new word alert. A group of people who play instruments is called an orchestra. And you can see what an orchestra might look like. Hey, Blaster, who's that person at the very front? That's right, he's the conductor, or what some people might call maestro. Here we go, a five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Well, if you were going to be in the orchestra, which instrument would you play? There's a lot to choose from. Oh, blaster. Now we're in Indonesia. And guess what all of these instruments are called? Together, we call them the gamelan. And it is incredible and really beautiful too. They're part of putting on these shadow puppets. Hey, let's check those out a little closer. Here we go. Whoa, those shadow puppets are magnificent. Did you know you can make shadow puppets at home yourself? Yeah, you can. We'll show you how. Come on, Blaster. Oh, Blaster, it's all set up and ready to go. If you wanna make this at home, there's only three things you need. A sheet, something to hold the sheet up, and come back here, a light. Now we're using a super fancy light, but you can use a flashlight or even a light from your phone. And then, now come back around here, we're all ready to make shadow puppets. Oh, you're right, Blaster. Not ready quite yet. We need these lights off, Blaster. Nice. All right. Oh, I think the Musical Instrument Museum has a very special shadow puppet for us. Let me go get it. Hey, look at this. This is an authentic Indonesian shadow puppet. Awesome. And I can put him right back here so you can see the shadow on your end. These are used to tell very important stories, but I'm not very good at it. Let's go see a pro who's awesome at it. Check it out. That was awesome, but you might not have an authentic shadow puppet at your house, but that's okay. Because if you have two hands, you can do puppets yourself. Check this out. A little bunny rabbit. Maybe a dog, woof, woof. or a r another rabbit. <laughs> what was that, Blaster? Oh, even Blaster can be a shadow puppet. You can get creative and make your very own shadow puppets right at home. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.